Good afternoon. I'm here at Surface Navy Association day one in 2026, and we're at the Lockheed booth with a brand new sail drone on display in the new partnership between Sail Drone and Lockheed Martin. This is a brand new display here. You have the armed variant of, of your sail drone model. Um, it's the first time that we've seen it at the Surface Navy Association on the show floor. So if you could just tell us a little bit about uh, what it means and, and you know what this is working out to be between Lockheed Martin and sail drone, that would be fantastic. Well, very good. I'll, I'll, I'll start here. So, um, you know, as we uh, embarked and, and we're looking at this uh, this, this mission space, uh, we saw an opportunity to partner with Sail Drone, bringing a very uh, proven commercial unmanned surface capability, and then to pair that with our legacy of providing um, payloads, trusted C2, and uh, mission systems to to that platform. Well, it's a really exciting time for us at Sail Drone because. We are the world's most proven unmanned surface vehicle company, and now we're partnered with a company that has over a century of experience creating the most sophisticated kit. So when we talk about a chocolate meets peanut butter kind of moment, it's how do you take the world's most proven USV and add to it the capabilities that give the warfighters what they need. So the model you're looking at now is our largest current vessel. It's a 20 meter surveyor, and it's equipped now with a JAGM launcher, the Joint Air Ground Missile, which is one of the things that you see over here that's provided from Lockheed Martin. The beauty of what we're doing together now in this integrated partnership is we're going to do a live fire event in July at RIMPAC, which allows us to do a demonstration of maritime sea strike, which is a new capability in the USV world. Very exciting time for us. And then obviously, uh, you know, the, the sail drone has grown quite a bit uh, from what it used to be in, in the small variants that the, that the Navy's been testing around with as mostly ISR. So once you enter the, the armed world, what kind of sensors are you looking at on a sail drone and how does that impact the hull and, and the design that, that you're putting forth uh, in the water for the Navy? So not surprisingly, as you alluded to, we have three different vessels on the water today. We started with a seven meter vessel called an Explorer, which was designed primarily for ocean science and exploration. But the demands of our customers drove us to build incrementally larger vessels. So we've got a 10 meter vessel called a Voyager, again, largely a maritime domain awareness or ISR vehicle. That's got a commercial radar, AIS, electro-optical and IR sensors on it. And then ultimately the surveyor here, which is a larger version version that also has a bathymetric mission and a bottom contour mapping capability. To answer your specific question though, the capabilities that we can add that will evolve what we offer to the Navy and to other customers is driven by the space, weight, and power. And the beauty of the surveyor vessel is that we've got about a thousand pounds that we can deal with, as well as a very robust electrical system. So I would see the inclusion of not only kinetic effects like this, but also sophisticated payloads for electronic warfare, signals intelligence, uh, RF capability, and potential even active sensors. One of the biggest things I think people think about when it comes to sail drones and, and kind of systems like this that have that really long endurance time is being able to stay persistent in, in places that are, that are very much contested, waters that you wouldn't necessarily send a large ship into. And when it comes to that, uh, a lot of those conversations revolve around payloads. Right now you have the, the Jagum quad launcher on board which can do the counter UAS uh, and, and some surface strike as well. But what are you thinking in terms of, of planning ahead? Uh, you have this hull and you have options. What do those options look like beyond just Jagum? Is that future weapons? Is it, like you mentioned, active sensors and, and signals intelligence capability? What's really on the forefront of either what Lockheed Martin or Sail Drone is, is looking at to integrate in the future? Yeah, I think you hit, hit the nail on the head, which is that persistence is the platform superpower and that there's a number of missions that it can prosecute um, with a number of payloads. So I re really think of this as, you know, we're demonstrating a kinetic integration here. Um, it's already doing uh, persistent ISR missions, um, but it's really, as John said before, it's really a multi-mission capability, right? That can be really, you know, serves the mission and the, uh, the vision of distributed maritime operations. Um, and we look forward to working with the Navy in terms of how best to unfold those CONOPS in service of those missions. So, so we recognize there's a million things that we could do. 
as Debarshi was mentioning, what we really want to focus on are those things that solve problems for our customers. And in this case, we're really talking about the Navy. So one of the things that's great about the sail drone is that we have a vessel that can go farther and stay out longer than any other unmanned system. And so when we talk about what is great about the integration of the Lockheed uh, capabilities onto our platforms, we recognize that we take great benefit from things like the fact that our vessels don't get tired or seasick or distracted, so, so they can stay out for a long time, which really opens the door for concepts of operations that answer a lot of questions for fleet commanders. And Lockheed has a long history of ensuring that our warfighters are equipped with the world's greatest, I call it, kit. But, but now, we're taking great platforms, adding great capabilities, and that really gives our warfighters what they need to have a maritime advantage. I think I'm going to switch over kind of the, the undersea domain now, um, which is obviously a lot less reported on, a lot, a lot more difficult to cover. Um, but Sail Drone does kind of revolve around that long endurance, um, sensing. Are there things that you know both of you are working on that could kind of improve that undersea sensing domain and, and make it easier for, for submarines to get tracked and things like that, potentially engage them as well? Is, is that something you're, you're looking for in the future? Yeah, I, th I think you hit the nail on the head, right? So as an extension of the persistence, right, the low sustainment tail, right, it's a, it's a, to create the distributed maritime nodes, right, this is a perfect platform that, for that. And so as an extension of that, and thinking about priority missions, you know, anti-surface, anti-subsurface are all things that we're really considering and, uh, you know, look forward to sharing more on that as we, we, as we go forward. Anything else? I would, I would I would offer that the development of even larger platforms opens up the door for the integration of even more capable Lockheed Martin plat or capabilities. So, so we're very eager to demonstrate, we will li likely have something uh, that will allow us to develop integrated concepts of operations that are game changers in the Greenland, Iceland, UK gap, in the Indo-Pacific, and really change the way that our strike group ASW is performed, as well as strategic SIRTAS-like capability. I think that's all the questions I have. Um, I, I guess I'll, I'll round it out here. Uh, so is there anything that you're looking for beyond that, that live fire test that you have in July? Um, anything that should be on the radar for, for viewers or anything like that that, that Lockheed and Sail Drone are, are, are working on together? Uh, you know, what, I, what, what I would say is, uh, you know, we look forward to providing more updates as we go through the year and, uh, you know, talk about some of the upcoming integrations we have beyond what we're already talking about here. Perfect. I mean, thank you so much for, for taking the time with us. Um, I appreciate the words and it certainly gives a lot about this, this drone. So, yeah, thanks a ton and, and enjoy the rest of your day at uh, Surface Navy Association. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much.